What's up everybody and welcome back. This week we have two new fish going into the tank, but before I did that, I had the bright idea to try and remove the rock that's on top of this log right here. By this point, it had been underwater for over two months, so I thought it would definitely be sinking on its own by now, but clearly that wasn't the case. It took me surprisingly long to get all the sand and plants back to how they were, and I won't even be trying to move that rock again for a while. So instead I decided I would move on to trimming the longer shoots that this tiger lotus next to the log has been trying to send up to the surface. I know from everything I've seen on this plant that if I don't trim the longer ones and they actually do reach the surface, the plant is then going to send all the future leaves to the surface as well. So if you want the growth to be more compact and bushy, which is what I want right now, you just cut off the longer ones. And I think so far the plan is looking pretty good. Next up, I'm taking a look at this Vesuvius sword. It seems like it's doing pretty well. I heard that they do send off runners, which are these separate smaller plants coming off of the main plant, but I assumed it would send them through the soil not upwards like this so if anybody knows is this normal or is this an issue with the light not being strong enough or something else let me know down in the comments but i put another root tab under the plant just to make sure it had all the nutrients it needs i gave a few of the other plants in the tank like the crypt parva here and the ar mini behind it root tabs as well just to make sure that they have everything that they need to. I also went around to a few areas I saw some algae growing and I removed what I could. Uh, while I was working on that I even saw some of the orange really shrimp out enjoying the tank but now it's time to add in our new fish and this time it'll be some rummy nose tetra. They're supposedly, from everything I've seen and heard, one of the best schooling fish out there, and I've always liked how they look with their red noses. I think it's going to look pretty good having them moving back and forth as one group in the tank. At least that's the plan, so let's go ahead and get them added in. pale when I first added them in and a little bit scattered as well but it wasn't long before they started finding each other and schooling together a little bit just like I was hoping. While they were still getting used to the tank I decided to add in a few of the new plants I got as well. This right here is another Anubius barteri that I got and I tried to wedge it in this little hill area here between this driftwood. I also got this Anubius Minima, which I had never even heard of before, but I thought it looked pretty cool when I saw it with its longer, more slender leaves compared to other Anubius plants. And last but not least, I got some more Golden Nasea, which I still don't know if I'm pronouncing right. Uh, the first bunch I had didn't do so well, but I wanted to give it another try. If you look closely, you can see the purple flowers on this plant here, which look great, but those are from the immersed growth, which is the out of the water growth. So I wouldn't expect them to stick around now that the plant is actually underwater. And now we're adding in another fish, and this time it's peacock gudgeons. And they actually didn't look half bad even right after I added them in. I got three and I'm happy with the little trio I have here. Oh. 
all the fish in the tank seem to be doing well. I'll keep the updates coming, so if you would like to see them, please go ahead and drop a comment, like the video, and subscribe. Thank you all for watching the video, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you.